Well, it appears that instant karma got me. Um, <clears throat> yesterday was a combination of full moon, heat wave, first real heat wave here in the Bay Area of the summer, and Mercury in retrograde. And all of those things, I find, tend to intensify experiences. So, uh, I went through the day being self-nurturing, taking it easy, and it went okay. But this morning, after a couple hours of sleep, I woke up, and everything was still. Too still, because there was no air conditioning noise in the background. And <clears throat> the power had gone off, and I tried my fuse box, and that didn't work. And the combination of being disoriented, sleep deprived, and then going into fear about how long will this outage last. I mean, it was already hot in my house. It was uh, hot outside, even though it was only 6 a.m. I started to feel really uncomfortable and feeling like I might panic and thinking like, well, should I <clears throat> you know, go to a, a motel or hotel? Where's the nearest one? What about my cat? Will she be okay if I leave her here? Um, my house gets really hot because the insulation and the roof seems to be pretty poor. So I felt really uncomfortable, and I thought, okay, I'm just going to breathe, try to stay with this. I took a shower to cool down because I was already feeling a little warm, partly from the heat, partly from uh, anxiety about the situation and feeling kind of trapped. And uh, and then I got out of the shower, and I thought, <clears throat> okay, you know, who can I call? It's still so early. I don't want to wake anyone up, but I'd like to talk to somebody to uh, process this discomfort that I'm feeling. And the lights came back on, and that was it. Um, <clears throat> I felt really grateful that the outage was so short, and so I laid there in bed for a while, did some reading and uh, fell back asleep. Then I woke up, and I thought, you know, why did that happen? And I thought about various interactions with people in my life and thought, am I in integrity? You know, am I in integrity in these interactions? And is there anything that I need to be woken up about? And what occurred to me is that yesterday... I was dealing with a company that I'd purchased a camcorder through, one of the ones that didn't work out, if you saw, I mean, you probably didn't see, but my uh, video on HD camcorders reviewed um, goes into how I've had a lot of problems with camcorders, and this most recent one, it was supposed to be shipped the next day, according to the Amazon checkout, but it didn't arrive until three days later. And I was upset with the company, but it ultimately wasn't their fault. And I knew that, but in their reply explaining that to me, they said, uh, with all due respect, sir, which I just, I, um, I felt annoyed. And I was annoyed with the situation in general, uh, about my frustration, not just that the camcorder was late, but when it arrived, it sucked. This was the Kodak ZI8. Anyways... Um, so I wrote back and I said, if you're going to talk fancy, it's do respect, not do respect. D-U-E, not D-O. And I didn't really know which way it was for sure. I had to look it up on Google. But, you know, I was being passive aggressive in my response. And when I thought about that today, and it wasn't even their fault about the camcorder. It was more like Amazon's checkout, I believe, that was the problem. So when I thought about that today, after my little outage scare, I thought, you know, that just doesn't feel right. I don't like that vibe um, of being superior over spelling. <laughs> you know, it's so petty. And I thought, this is just not aligned with my purpose. I want to bring more positivity to the world. I don't want to spread negativity just because I'm upset. So I decided to write them again and apologize and I said something like you know I was frustrated about the situation but you did not deserve my passive aggressive reply sorry Chris and then I felt better and uh, you know it could be that the universe didn't really uh, 
create the situation of electrical outage for me to experience this. But, you know, I, I live my life as, as, ever, as if everything has a reason. And that was the reason that I made from it, whether it was intended or not. That was the meaning I gained from it. And I, and I learned something and cleared up my karma a little bit, I think, by apologizing. It's easy in the Internet world, you know, just look around on comments on various news sites or YouTube or whatever, people are releasing their anger all the time towards other people because it's anonymous and a safe way to do it as opposed to in-person relationships. So I don't want to partake in that kind of spreading of nastiness. And, um, you know, after I did it yesterday, after I wrote them my little snarky reply, I forwarded it to a friend and... I was thinking today about how unconsciously or semi-consciously, sometimes when we share things with another person, we might feel conflicted about that thing, even if we don't think we're conflicted about that thing. And so we're, you know, maybe looking for feedback, maybe looking to be challenged about whether or not what we're sharing is really a reflection of who we are or if we want to be challenged. But I think that's something to keep in mind if we're like, you know calling someone up or emailing and saying, oh, this person did this, and, you know, this is what I said, and this, you know, it might be that we're trying to make it about the other person to excuse ourselves from any guilt that we may have about our own side of the situation. So that was one of my uh, understandings that came from this. So overall, I'm grateful for the outage, as much discomfort as it, um, as it, uh, allowed into my life, I think that sometimes discomfort is good for our growth.